In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my absolutely favorite players to study in Madden 21, and that is Henry Leverett from Illinois. Can't wait to jump into this one. Henry is by far and above, in my opinion, one of the most talented Madden players in the community right now, and I'm so jacked up to talk about his game. We're going to talk about his game a lot more and uh, just a big fan of Henry's. So we're going to jump right in. Now, if you've never been to the channel before, my name is Cody. What I do is basically help you get better at this game, both through my own stuff, but also study a lot of Madden. And uh, one of the things I like to do is break down pro players and kind of what they're doing. So I'm really, really jacked up for this one. Really excited to jump into this. Henry is by far and away, like I said, the most talented young player in the game. And I believe that he's one of my favorite ones to learn from. So he's actually going up against Ghost, uh, Hassan Spall from New Jersey. Now Ghost is running the Carolina Bunch, and he's running the 46 defense. You see that a lot of pro players have actually shifted uh, to the 46 defense because of how effective the 3-3-5 wide defense is. If you want, I've been running that literally all season long, and if you want my full 3-3-5 defense, that link is in the description uh, of this video. But anyway, we're going to jump ahead here in the action, and I want to get to some of, uh, some of just watching Henry on defense. Um, and here's the deal. Ghost is considered one of the best passers in the game um one of the best passers in madden because of his really because of his willingness to take us underneath over and over again but if you notice henry's going to be in this nickel 335 defense so i just want you to watch a little bit with me here uh and i just want to show one little thing that he does that is very unique that not a whole lot of people do out of the 335 wide and i think it actually makes a major major difference in in how he's able to run it. If you noticed on his first play there, he brought the safety down. Um, he brought the safety down over the tackle. Now, if you if you watch Henry play, if he has a chance pre snap to do that, he is going to do that a lot. He'll bring that. You'll notice he'll bring that safety down a lot in this game. So, and and what you'll also notice is how good of a job that he does, not only at adjusting. But when I watch Henry play, one of the things that I find really interesting about Henry, I don't feel like, and this is just my personal opinion from watching him. See, there he brings the safety down again. Watch the safety off the left side here. Watch the safety. That's like the key element to his defense. See there, he comes down and doesn't send pressure, but again, you see that. So we're going to dive right in here. I'm, I'm pumped up. Let's jump over to game plan. Let's just get into some of this uh, talking about the game. So I'm, I'm really, really jacked up for this one. Okay, so Henry comes out in the Ravens playbook. Now, I personally don't understand why. I think the primary reason why he does that is because he wants to be able to run um, Dime 146. What I want to tell you and communicate to you guys today is I'm not as concerned with having the capability or ability to run Dime 146 as I am the importance of running uh, three through five wide really really well. I think if you run three through five wide really really well, then you're going to notice that you're going to be successful. So we're going to jump into coaching adjustments here. Now I'm not exactly sure if it's coaching adjustments because I couldn't see them on my end, but I'm pretty sure he dropped his purple somewhere in these 20 to 25 yard range, and I think he was on default for the rest of these things. Uh, conservative here, obviously, ball in air defense to play ball or play receiver, and then he was running with a default alignment a lot. So um, I want to share a couple of his pressure packages and just dive right in here. So I personally recommend running this out of the 46 playbook. Henry was audibling to it out of the, um, I believe, the, the 245 odd in the Ravens playbook. With the 245 odd, you can still kind of get a similar feel. You can't get all the way to what you can get from the 3 through 5. So what you do is you put safeties in at these linebacker positions, and then you can audible down to 3 through 5 wide uh, and get safeties at linebacker basically. But anywho, um, so I'm going to put Mike Blitz 3 in my audibles, and I'm going to come out in any 3-3-5 play that I want. And if you want to run 3-3-5 normal, I would actually recommend getting good at running that. Um, but Henry primarily was in 3-3-5 wide. I think it was in 3-3-5 wide about 90% of his snaps. And so we're just going to dive right in here. So a couple different setups that I thought was really, really effective uh, from Henry. I'm going to move the ball here to the left side just so the bunch can be on the wide side. The first and foremost thing that I want to break down is his, um, his safety. So his setup, his core front. 
And that is this. He audibles to Mike Blitz 3, and almost every single time you're going to see that he's going to press coverage, shade or um, shift his line out, and then if he has a chance, he's going to bring this guy right down here. And the reason why is because in certain situations, let's say that, that Ghost was blocking his running back. All right? In certain situations, let's say that Henry wants to send this guy off the edge. What you'll notice here is this is going to help with the pressure. You see the pressure is still going to come completely free, untouched at the quarterback for instant pressure. That was one of his tactics that he did. Another one of his tactics that he did against Gun Bunch is he would bring this guy down and then he would man him up on the running back. The reason why is if the running back blocks, Henry can just send that send that man coverage. He can click that right joystick in and basically have either a spy or he can send him in at the quarterback. That's another little tap, little tactics that, that he was using that I thought was really, really effective. So again, bring this guy down. And then from there, you can do all kinds of things with him. He's kind of your one of your, you know, what we used to call him, Matt, and we used to call them swing defenders, where we could basically do all, all sorts of things with them. One of the things that we could do, so now the running back goes out, I don't have to worry about the running back, and the pressure is super, super fast off of that edge. That's what Henry brought to the table with this. The other thing that's really important about this, which we don't talk about a ton, um, is run defense. And this is what Henry, I thought, was, you know, he just, Ghost didn't run the ball a ton. But if, if they were to run the ball, let's just say I went to, like, inside zone or something. Watch this safety. When you bring this safety down into the box, you're going to stand about right here. They're going to run inside zone. You don't have to do a whole lot. Like, most of the time you'll blow it up uh, in the backfield. So that's another thing that he would do. Now, the last thing that I want to cover today about this 3 wide is what I noticed that he would do is he'd bring this guy down, man him up, and then on the right side, you saw a lot of cover three Mabel adjustments. Essentially, this right here would take care of the right side. And then now all Henry has to worry about is some type of crossing route. If they run some type of crossing route, that's really where he comes in. Or if they run like a post. So you see here you got that spy. And look at how fast the pressure is. Even if they blocked him running back, you're going to get really, really fast pressure at the quarterback. So that's what you saw a lot. Um, one thing that you don't see a ton from Henry, but I think it... He, I just didn't see this a ton, but this Mike Blitz O, if you bring this down, it's, it looks like Mike Blitz 3, right? looks exactly the same, but now you're in man coverage. And if they don't have a quick read, you're going to have instant pressure on the quarterback. So you can send pressure, you can play coverage, you can do all of those things. Another thing that you can do here is if I wanted to leave him on this purple zone, I certainly could do that. And then I could man the linebacker up on the running back, right? Something as simple as this can take away the flats from the gun bunch perspective. And then the beauty of this is now you still keep your purples out there. So you still have all of your really, really good coverage. But you've taken away basically any kind of thing that they can do, like crossing routes and things like that, within that kind of framework of what you're doing on the defensive side of the ball. So... I was just super impressed with Henry. I I know he lost. I feel like he beat himself. I think he would admit that. Um, his tweet after the game kind of talked about that a little bit. Um, I just felt like his defense was really, really good. Um, it might be the best defense in the game. I think it probably is, um, just the way that he ran it. Because Ghost is one of the best offensive players in the entire game, and Henry was able to really give him a lot of trouble um, on the defense side of the ball. I don't know how many interceptions was exchanged between these guys. There were a ton of interceptions um, that were that were basically thrown in this game. So, you know, I just felt like, all in all, Henry's defense, and again, was in 3-3-5 wide. I believe it has to elite. It's over 90%. I think, it's, I think it might have been 95% of the game he was in this defense. But, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy how good – he really does run this. I think he runs this defense better than anyone else. And what you'll notice when you watch him play is that he has players in positions to actually make the play. It's not all on his user to do it. And that's what I think makes him special and really fun to learn from. So great job to Henry. I wish he would have got farther. I'm a huge Henry fan. Um, I think he will continue to get better. I think he'll learn from this. I think there's m some mental mistakes that he made that he would also admit that he made. I think also, you know, the run commit at the very end of the game. Um, but, man, he clutched up and, and, and drove right down the field against Ghost to, to take the lead and then came out in some bad defense and you know it is what it is but anyways shout out to Henry I thought he played really good if you want to get um, I'm going to jump over to practice mode real quick so you can get this uh, number that at the top left hand of the screen there that's my phone number 
If you just want to text me, I can shoot you a sample of my 335 wide defensive guide. Um, as you've noticed, literally everyone is running this defense. It's how good it really is. So if you want to get my 335 wide defensive ebook, that link is in the description, the full ebook. If you want to get the sample to it, that's in my text membership. So just shoot me, hit me a text. And, uh, and let me know you'd like to receive that video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. And I just I hope you uh, learned something. So anyways, we'll see you guys on tonight's live stream. I stream every night at 10 o'clock. Uh, we'll be live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thanks for watching this video. Text me if you want that 335 wide stuff. Or if you want to get the defensive ebook, it's in the description. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys uh, tonight.